Hey, welcome back to a new video here at our off-grid homestead in Colorado. We've got a lot of guests in this video. Two of them you probably recognize. Went to a pizza party at James and Doreen's where James showed off his new cabin and the boat that he built. What? Baron took another trip to Texas with Brad where they flew in a helicopter to do a wildlife census and they brought back enough food to supply us for the next year. Yeehaw! Plus, we've made a major upgrade to the house. We've got stairs. But after completing the stairs, we finally sat down and admitted to ourselves that we made a major mistake in our build that we're going to have to address. There's a lot in this one, so keep on watching. It's beginning to feel a lot We should give a link to that instant coffee, it's the best. <laughs> this stuff is really good. It's awesome for backpacking and everything. Or if you're just lazy and want to make coffee fast. For only you. No, what do you mean? Well, I figured you would want hot coffee and I just wanted caffeine. <laughs> So that's what is going on right yeah. now. So that's how much it's, it's covered. covering. There's a solar eclipse happening right now. How far along do you think it is? It's progressed quite a bit because it, now it's like a little slit. It was like a big half moon kind of. Wow. It's so cold right now. It's 35 I know. degrees. That's so wild. I'm glad you thought of that. That's cool. This little moment might not seem that cool to you, but it is pretty cool. It signified the end of an era, a mixing era. Now that insulation and stucco are complete, James came by to pick up his mixer once and for all. It feels so good to have that thing out of here. And thank you, James and Doreen, for letting us hang on to it for the last year. Baron went to Texas again with our friend Brad, a wildlife biologist for a ranch down there. We're about to blast off for the first day of flying, doing a wildlife census in Texas. Do we have any announcements, Brad? God damn it. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Sunny day, gonna be 80 today, I think. He's like trying to film with a two-year-old around. Right? <laughs> found a cow skull from the helicopter. So we parked in a Sendero so I could hop out and run and grab it. It's pretty awesome. I want him to move. He's so big. It's like, I'm like, is he, did he die like that? <laughs> like, look how skinny he looks. Um, if you want to lay down and put your cheek next to him, I can take a picture. Look of at that. Here. This toad crazy. is giant. I don't want to jack with him because he's got these big ass venom glands. Or not venom glands, but poison. You think he'd bite my finger? Maybe. No, it's like he's dead. Oh, no, he's oh, breathing. Now he's swelling up. Oh. <laughs> That's the giant I was Man, about. he's so big. Yeah, there you go. He's as big as your hand. That is crazy, dude. Give you an idea how big those toads are. Brad's saying this is a toad turd. It is a toad turd. Yeah, he's saying that, but I still don't believe it. It's as big as my... <laughs> no, you're going to Google it. Look at that. 
toad poop, and that's what you're gonna It's a, I, and I think it's a cane, like looking it up, it's probably a cane toad, huh? Yeah. But it's turds as big as my thumb. Yeah. It's like a bigger than a poodle turd. It has, yeah, it's, it has big parts. Brad and Baron brought back three deer for us to process that will be stored in our freezer as food for the next year. Baron and Brad cut the quarters into large chunks. You are YouTube famous. <laughs> I put the chunks through the meat grinder. And Lindy vacuum sealed all of the meat. Look at this. On the, from the buck, this is a tenderloin. This is a front tenderloin. So what is that, a friender? It's a friender. Most people don't pull them out, but if the deer is big enough, you can. And they're delicious. Camp buried a bone over here. And Pilot is trying to steal it. <laughs> it's, her, it's her favorite game. And Camp takes it very serious. It's not a game to him. sister. <laughs> Meanwhile, Spike is the top of the totem pole predator, chewing on his bone. And nobody has the balls to mess with him. <laughs> right now in the corner of the screen, I will leave a card for the video from last year where we explain the processing process a little bit more in detail. Later that week, we cooked our first meal in our house. It's pretty hard to see. We don't have lights or anything in there yet, but we made a spicy venison soup for our nomad friend Brad and my cousin Drew and his girlfriend Casey who came through for a visit. It was a little too, too spicy for them. They almost choked. Around with a tape measure and you're checking all the you you're getting your iPad. As I go through every room, I'm just going. Yeah. And then if, I, and then if there's a problem. And it's not exactly intentional, but somehow or another, we almost always end up introducing pretty much everybody who comes out to visit to James and Doreen. So we met them for breakfast so that they could meet my cousins. Okay, we're doing these steps, and we figured it out on this wall. When it's all said and done, we'll have a nine and a half inch run and an eight inch rise. Two step landing, top of two step landing, and then three more steps here. You, you don't realize this, but all steps, most I should say, are in a 17 inch stride. But what we're gonna have here is a 17 and a half inch stride because we're gonna have a nine and a half inch tread and an 8 inch rise. What if we had a 12 inch rise? Five. Well a 12 inch rise you'd have a 5 inch tread so that gets really steep. It's almost like a ladder. And if you were at a museum that had really really long 12 inch run. Then you'd have a 5 inch rise. But it's like muscle memory. This is a prime example of muscle memory. You have muscle memory in your steps you just don't realize it. Will it be unsafe for us to have a stair that deviates from what's normal? No because it's still your 17 inch, inch stride. And that's what's critical, it's your, it's your 17 inch stride. Especially with this being a nine and a half inch tread, your foot will land very comfortably on that tread as you go up. It's, it's just like life, this, this a little <laughs> philosophy. Hey, this is just like life, nothing's perfect. There's trade-offs in everything you do. You can't have it all, face it. You just can't have it all, Bear. I know, you keep telling me that. I know, you're trying hard. Yeah, I'm determined. <laughs> Here's an eight inch rise uh -huh. and a nine and a half inch run. It just maths out right to give you the right general angle. Let me double check here.
Uh, where's some more screws? Uh, in that little thing. Look who it is. Our next guests you probably know, but if you don't, now you will. Linnea and her dog Akila, and Chris and his dog Kobuk. Linnea built out her van by herself and lives in it full time. She operates a very inspiring and fun, successful YouTube channel, and she and I got in touch a couple years ago when she was out in the area for a van build competition. At that competition, she met her boyfriend Chris, who is also a YouTuber. He owns the Tiny Home Tours channel, huge channel, and while he's currently traveling in a short bus for the ease of travel, he built this raised roof schoolie, which was the bus James and Doreen modeled theirs after having no idea at the time who Chris was. It's crazy. Such a wild and small world. James and Doreen were hosting another pizza party, so of course we brought Linnea and Chris. Hi. 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 I already know you from yeah. watching you in the videos. Yeah, you know, <laughs> one thing, stuff disappears when I'm around. We haven't oiled it yet. Once you oil it, it, it none of the black comes off. It's really, really cool. Because then you don't. There's no finishing needed, right? It's no. You well, you put oil on, but that it doesn't. It well, totally doesn't. So but this is the coolest feature. How many collective days do you think you have in this? I don't know. Guess. It's it's not that. I mean, I'd say two weeks. If I was working <laughs> three weeks, three weeks maybe. If I was working steady on it. What? This is the bed. So the bed's going to be on rollers. Uh huh. And it's going to latch, unlatch, and the bed's going to roll out on the deck. So you're going to be able to sleep inside or out. Oh. So this is the footboard, and then the headboard is going to seal the hole when it's rolled out. So you can unlatch it and roll this bed out on this deck and then sleep under the stars wow. in, in full comfort. Mm -hmm. And we'll have down comforters on this so people can, can sleep very, very comfortably. This is where the bed will then roll out into here. So the bed will be here most of the time or whenever you want. Then you just unlatch it and then just roll this bed out. Sweet. And there'll be grooves in the floor. The bed will actually roll on these, these wheels. So they'll just roll out on. Those are come off of the skates. Yeah, they look like rollerblade. Yeah, the yeah, rollerblade, yeah. rollerblade wheels. Is this my tape measure, James? No. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your tape measure. <laughs> This is new to me. Here's what? This. Oh. How long have you had this? I don't know. I did this in between building my 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 uh oh, James. cabin. So is this just what you do? Like you just you just build a bunch. He's of compulsive I, compulsive I, building disorder. I've got obsessive compulsive building disorder. I guess that's not so I built this boat. <laughs> what? Yeah. You gotta get in here. This thing's cool. Have you uh, caught any fish off of it? Oh yeah. Oh. We, we went offshore 22 miles last year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, wow, this is amazing. Okay. So these pop out like this. So then you have, this is where you sit. Hmm. Or, and I built this ice chest, but this, you put ice in, and that's where we store all our, our food for the, when we're wow. living in it. So oh, then when, cool, yeah. when you're rocking around, you can... Where'd you get that gimbal stuff? I built it. <laughs> but the uh, but that keeps your... You heat your water in the morning and whatnot. And this is where we sleep. Very nice. Let me see. We got lights in here, too. There we go. <laughs> so then you just have a mat here and there. Yeah, works great. This is so cool. Who built a fucking boat? <laughs> Oh my god. Chicken, bacon, two. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that'd be so fun. And before I do so. Just like 
This is going to be the best pizza. It's almost like for sure. So why do you, why, Baron, do you feel like this will be the best pizza? Because I just really want to win. Okay. <laughs> it does take a positive uh, attitude to be a winner. You know yeah, that. Yeah, I do. Here you go. Oh my goodness. Wow, that one looks so good. Okay, wow. folks. Maybe wow. This is yours? That is what yours? Is Have you guys done that before? Jesus, that looks amazing. Oh, yeah, so. Is there okay, balsamic? So it's half and half. Mine's got oh, the pepperonis. Man. Elsa's has whatever else on that side probably will have a lot of <laughs> There's biggest uh, refrigerator you can buy. No, it's just when you open open it, all the rest of your spices are visible. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks, so it's not as pretty. You know? I did it just. I just did this. Everything. All my windows are plexiglass. Yeah. work rather than structural work. So we unexpectedly have to replace a pretty significant portion of the house. Not a huge surprise. This was a worry that we were trying to push away for a while. What are they called, joists? Yeah. The joists were cut from raw logs. That's how we cut all of our lumber. And they were naughty logs, like with a K, not an N. They're pretty naughty too. They're really. super naughty. <laughs> James says that he normally uses really large large spruce logs to cut his spruce lumber wood. out of these logs were a lot smaller and they were a lot more wet than we anticipated so they've kind of warped over time and a lot of them have even cracked because there's so many knots they're just covered in knots we could have done some scabbing to them and yeah. made them work but it was two hundred dollars to replace them with kiln dried planed logs we don't know exactly how we're going to finish the ceiling well we kind of don't want to finish it so the rafters will just be exposed at least for the time being yeah and then that way with these nice planed and sanded 
rafters. It'll just look clean rather than ours that were all kind of wonky. All of our headers and the sides of our windows and doors, <laughs> they turned out great because they were dug fur. They yeah. look beautiful. Well, and we used a lot of the same blue spruce for other things like the framing on the outside for our insulation. And this back wall is the same, but still different logs. So we still use primarily milled wood. The only wood that we purchased from that was kiln dried and everything is for the um, roof deck floor and for our bedroom floor. And I think that's worthwhile. It'll make laying out the tongue and groove on the floor a lot easier because my dad and I got to looking at it yesterday and it was just like, yikes, this is gonna be. Because our whole house is like this, the walls are like this. It's um, very unique, it's custom. So now it'll be great. Now it's gonna look nice, it'll feel nice, and we'll know that it's sturdy and We won't have done. to worry about it. And then we don't have to finish the ceiling down here for quite a while, because it won't be so fugly. So that's it. We've actually gotten pretty lucky with corrections and having to replace stuff and refinish stuff. Well, we haven't made, knock on wood, a ton of mistakes, because we're moving so slow. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. So next up, we're gonna swap all these um, rafters slash joists out for the ones we just bought and then put down the tongue and groove. And then we can put our bed in here. Oh, and then short term too, we're gonna uh, buy pipe for our wood stove so we can get that installed. Cause then we can start living in here, which will be really cool. And then I can play the new World of Warcraft classic in the A-frame while we live in here. Yeah. It'll be great. Okay, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.